Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on how to become a junior cyber security analyst in 2024. Picture yourself using your skills to protect critical data and stay ahead of cyber threats. The role of a cyber security analyst is both challenging and fulfilling, offering a mix of excitement and purpose. With the demand for skilled cyber security professionals at all time high in 2024, now is the perfect time to enter into this dynamic field. Let us explore the journey to become a junior cyber security analyst with a step by step and uncover how you can build a successful career in this field. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional or seeking online training and certifications from prestigious universities and collaborations with leading experts to enhance your credibility, look no further. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council is your first choice. For more details, use the link in the description box given below. Now let's get started. So guys, let us look at our first parameter, that is educational foundation. Now guys, cybersecurity revolves around safeguarding systems and data from cyber threats. So let us begin with establishing a strong educational foundation, that is basic foundation. Start first by completing high school and during high school focus on subjects like mathematics, computer science and IT. These subjects are very, very crucial as they provide a fundamental understanding of computers and logical thinking. Think of it as building the groundwork for your future career. So guys, the next step is higher education. After high school, consider pursuing degree in computer science, information technology, or even in cybersecurity. While a degree is not only a path to become a cybersecurity analyst, it offers a strong foundation and it is often preferred by employers. However, Passion and dedication can also lead to success through self-learning. Remember, focus should be on acquiring skills and knowledge. Employers value problem-solving abilities and creative thinking over formal qualifications alone. With the basics of education covered, now let's move on to developing the technical skills, which are very essential for cybersecurity analysts. This is where you will start assembling your toolkit with necessary skills. Now, you have to first develop the programming skills. Now, why it is important, guys? Programming is essential for communicating with computers and automating tasks. What do you have to learn in this? Begin with Python for its simplicity and power. Then learn languages like C and C++ for low-level operations and JavaScript for web security. How you can practice? Create small scripts and automate tasks and eventually develop your own security tools. Now, guys, let us start with the networking. So, first of all, why networking is so important? Actually, networking knowledge is crucial as most for every cybersecurity professional because it involves securing networks. What do you have to learn in this? First, you have to understand the IP addresses, subnets, protocols like TCP IP and data transmission. And how you can practice it? You can set up a network lab at home using virtual machines and experiment it with different configurations. Now, let us move to the operating systems. Guys, why operating systems are important? First of all, Security tools are often designed for specific operating systems and particularly the Linux ones. What you can learn in this? First of all, you have to get familiar with Linux. Kali Linux you can use for security tasks and understand Windows and Mac OS basics. How you can practice this? You can use Linux regularly and explore terminal commands and understand file system structures. And also apart from this, you can learn the security concepts. Security principles will also help you to understand and protect system. What do you have to learn in that? First, focus on encryptions, firewalls, VPNs, and IDS. And you can practice in the similar fashion. You can implement these measures in your systems and test their effectiveness. Now, let us move to the certifications part. So guys, as you know that certifications validate your knowledge and skills, opening door to job opportunities. Here are some of the key certifications to consider. The first one that we have all over here is Certified Ethical Hacker. So why it is important guys? Actually it is a recognized certification covering the fundamental of ethical hacking. What it demonstrates guys? It demonstrates the core ethical hacking principles. How you can get this certification? 
you can study the CEH curriculum and pass this exam. Now next one we have all over here that is CompTIA plus security. Now we know that it covers a wide range of security topics and network security to risk management. So this certification is very important. What to learn in this? This certification is going to build your foundational knowledge and which is required basically for cyber security role. In the next one, how you can practice this? So you can prepare focusing on key areas like threats, attacks and vulnerabilities. Now let us move on to our next certification. So guys, our next certification is CISA or CompTIA Cyber Security Plus. Now, why this certification is so important? Basically, CISA focuses on the practical skills which is needed for cyber security analyst role. And what to learn in this? You can prepare by studying the CISA Plus material, focusing on key areas like threat management and vulnerability management. And how you can practice this? So, you can study the threat detection tools, perform data analysis, interpret results to identify threat vulnerabilities. Let us move on to our next part, that is gaining the practical experience. Now that you have all your educational skills and certification, it's time to gain hands-on experience. And this is where you are going to apply your knowledge in real world scenario. The first one that we have is lab blend simulation. Use platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me and CyberSec Labs to practice in a safe environment. Next one we have all over here, internships and entry level jobs. Seek internships or entry level positions in IT or network administration or even in cyber security space. These roles are going to provide real world experience and are going to help you build industry concepts. Check job boards, company websites and LinkedIn for opportunities. Tailor your resumes to highlight your skills and certifications. Next one that we have all over here are bug bounty programs. Participate in bug bounty programs through platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd. These programs allow you to test your skills on real systems legally. Create profiles on these platforms, start with lower risk programs and gradually take on more complex challenges. Practical experience is invaluable as it bridges the gap between theory and practice. By working in lab, gaining real world experience through internships and participating in bug bounty programs are going to help you to build a strong portfolio. Now finally we have is staying updated. Now. Cybersecurity is an ever-evolving space and staying current is very, very vital. Here's how to keep your knowledge up to date. So first of all, you have to focus on continuous learning. Stay informed about latest trends, news and technologies through resources like curbs, dark reading and the Reddit net sec community. Make reading articles and participating in discussions a regular habit. Then you can also join the conferences and workshops. Attend events like DEF CON, Black Hat and RSA conference to network and learn about new techniques. Participate in workshops and seminars either in person or virtually. Then you can also go for online courses. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy and Cybrary offers courses on various security topics. Regularly enroll in courses to update your skills and knowledge. And finally, join the community. Being the part of the cybersecurity community is going to help you benefit in your career. You can join community like leveraging LinkedIn, Reddit or cybersecurity subreddit community and Stack Exchange information security community, which are really going to help you a lot. Next one we have all over here. What are the companies that are hiring for junior cybersecurity analyst role? So you can see Amazon, Accenture, Intel, Google, and Apple, and many more other companies which are hiring for cybersecurity analyst role. So if you are aspiring to grab a junior cybersecurity analyst job, then you might apply on these big giants. So guys, you would be wondering, what is the salary of junior cybersecurity analyst? So guys, it definitely varies based on your company which you are targeting. For example, in United States, you are going to get an average salary of 70,000 US dollars. And in India, you are going to get around 6 to 10 NPA. So guys, I have discussed everything, how you can make your career to the cybersecurity analyst role. And initially, your role will be a junior one. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope so you have enjoyed this video and also it would be a great benefit for you. Till then, keep learning and keep studying a lot. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.